Well, we started 2024 hoping to see some new inventory coming to the market here in Orange County. With one month in the books, let's take a look at where we stand to start out February. Okay, so this is the Orange County real estate market update for February of 2024. If we haven't met, my name is Nathan Nekoshea. I'm a realtor here in Orange County. Thank you so much for joining me. Now let's take a look at some of the data. So as always, we're gonna start things off by touching on some of the key details and the metrics that most owners, buyers, sellers might be interested in. First up is the months of inventory. As of the end of January, uh, Orange County has a fairly meager 1.15 months of total available inventory. That rep represents actually about a five and three quarter percent drop month over month and it pretty well likely means that prices are gonna remain stable if not continue to increase. Some markets like Anaheim have been kind of sitting atop Redfin's weekly price, price growth report, showing that demand, even though it's still fairly muted by mortgage rate volatility, is still outpacing supply. Now, let's take a look at the list of sold price percentages. Sellers in Orange County received 99.8% of their list price. That is up a little bit, you know, 0 0.9 or 0 0.09 rather um, from December. And that metric continues to show that Orange County sellers are absolutely more accurately pricing their homes and, and really that buyers are recognizing that fact. Next up is the median days on market. Homes that sold in Orange County only spent about 19 days on the market, which when you combine that with the previous data points, it's pretty good evidence that homes are being snatched up quickly if and if, only if they're priced correctly. And in January, homes that sold in Orange County sold for a median of $1,092,000. Now let's get in some of the metrics that might help us make a little bit of a determination on the direction of the Orange County market kind of as we push into February. New listings. Well, Orange County saw 2,026 new listings hit the market, and that's a huge month-over-month -month bump of 119%. Now, I know that sounds like a lot, and it really is, but just keep in mind that that includes a lot of listings that were in a hold or withdrawn status over the holidays. It's not really unheard of to see an injection of some in of inventory to start off the new year. And that gave Orange County a total of 1,863 homes available for sale. Wait, what? I know it sounds odd that total listings would be lower than new listings, but when you take into account new pending listings, home under contract, and any listing that was canceled, withdrawn, or placed on hold, it makes a little bit more sense. And at the close of January, Orange County had 1,453 new listings enter a pending status. That's a pretty big increase of 34.7% month over month, and it's a notable that those new pending listings only spent a median of 13 days on the market. So the total number of listings that were in a pending status at the close of January, that's all of them, uh, was 1,553. Again, another month over month increase of 25.5%. And finally, in January, Orange County had 1,106 homes that closed escrow. So the story in Orange County so far is that we are seeing inventory starting to pick up, but it's really at nowhere near the pace we need if we're going to be able to meet the level of demand. With uh, Jerome Powell and the Fed really overtly saying they aren't likely going to be cutting rates in March, this might be an opportunity for inventory to build up a little bit. And if you're thinking about buying a home in Orange County and you're waiting for rates to drop, you might be waiting a little while. One thing I'd like you to really consider is that if prices continue to rise, which right now absolutely is the most likely scenario given this extreme lack of inventory, is there an unnecessary risk to waiting for a 1% rate cut to maybe pay 4 or 7% more for a home? Not to mention a rate cut will probably cause a spike in demand, which means more buyers to compete with for just a handful of homes. I'm not saying that now is the greatest time to buy, but I do hope you'll consider really all the possible scenarios and the factors so that you can make the most informed decision for yourself. 
If you've been thinking about selling, you might find an opportunity right now to face less competition for buyers while still getting a great price for your home. And again, I'm not saying that now is the best time to sell. What I would like you to consider though is what are the advantages and disadvantages of getting on the market sooner rather than later? You know, there's less competition, more market visibility, and still getting a great price. You need to do what's best for you and your circumstances. Well, those are just my thoughts. I'd love to hear yours. Leave me a comment below. Like the video if you like the video. Subscribe if you'd like to subscribe. And if you'd like to talk with me personally, you can schedule a time with me at the link in the description. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.